Real quick. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So guys, as you can see by the title, I have some news. Yes. Oh my gosh, do I have some news? My little doggy. Oh my god, she's so cute. So this is Pori, my new dog that I adopted from Korea. So I thought I would film a video, introduce you guys, and also tell you the story, answer some questions I've been getting on Instagram and stuff like that. So Pori came from Korea just a few days ago, and I don't know her full story, but basically she was in an abusive sort of situation. Again, I don't know the full details, but I have heard that she used to be beat up. People just treated her horribly. And some rescuers did rescue her, but they tied her to a tree in this neighborhood. And so she's been living tied to a tree by herself in that neighborhood. So she was a stray dog tied to a tree. So people in the neighborhood would feed her and stuff like that, but she was obviously not in the ideal situation because she's still living outside and, you know, just by herself. Anyway, basically, long story short, one of my employees at my cafe, her family lived in that same neighborhood as Bori and they would help take care of her. They would help bring her food and stuff like that. <laughs> and they, hi, <laughs> but they are moving away to a different city so they could no longer help take care of her. It was already not ideal in the first place for her to be living, you know, by herself as a stray. So my employee decided to try to find her a home in Canada. They figured it would be almost impossible to adopt her out in Korea. And if they try to go through an agency in Korea, apparently, you know, if they don't get adopted out right away. They euthanize them. So it's just like a not so good situation. My employee wanted to find her a home in Canada and she had asked me to post about her because I have an audience and maybe someone would be interested in adopting her. So of course I heard her story and I did post about her and I saw her picture and I was like, oh my God, it just broke my heart the way she was living, her circumstance. And I was just like, oh my God, that is just so sad. And her little face just reminded me a lot of Nadi, if you guys don't know, Nadi is my other dog and she actually lives with my parents. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And obviously, I'm like obsessed with Nadi. Bodhi's face like really reminded me of Nadi, and even the size is very similar. So, of course, that tugged at my heartstrings even more because I'm like, oh my god, she looks like Nadi and she's like living this horrible situation. So, I posted about her, but we didn't really get any responses. And then I thought to myself, you know, maybe. Maybe I'll take her. At first, I thought maybe my parents could take Bodhi as a second dog and live with Bodhi and Nadi so that Nadi can have a friend. But my parents, they didn't want a second dog. Fair enough. And then I thought, you know, I could probably take, I could probably take Bodhi. So I made the emotional decision to adopt Bodhi. This was a few months ago. You know, she was still astray at that time. So as soon as I decided to adopt her, she did get placed in a temporary foster home where she got used to kind of living indoors. They did all the medical checks, went to the vet probably multiple times, got her shots and everything. So she got used to kind of living indoors a little bit in Korea and we were just waiting for someone to bring her over. This was all done privately. It wasn't done through any agency. We just had to get someone to bring her over. And I think about four days ago, August 16th, she uh, arrived in Canada.
She was very, very scared when she arrived, obviously, like any of us would be. But she actually adjusted very quickly. Yeah, it's been a few days now. Oh my god. She's been living with me, and she will be living with me. If I'm going traveling and stuff, the plan is that she stays at my parents. So yesterday, she met Nadi for the first time. Oh my god, you guys. I think the thing I was most nervous about was her and Nadi meeting. Not her specifically, Bodhi has a very calm temperament. She's very, very calm, very gentle. I've never heard her bark, but I was worried about Nadi because Nadi's never had any other, you know, any other dog. Like, Nadi's always been an only child. She's always been a princess. She's got all of our attention. So I was like, oh my God, is Nadi gonna be okay? You know, she's gonna, she's gonna be upset. <laughs> and this is how the meeting went. Her and Nadi met, and Nadi at first, Bodhi was kinda happy. She was like, yay, another dog. Uh, Nadi was like, who is this bitch? <laughs> we met at like a school yard, what do you call it? Like a field, because they say to introduce the dogs in a neutral space. So we met there, but I had Bodhi and Nadi came and I think she immediately, Nadi is very smart, like she immediately saw that I was holding the leash of another dog and she was immediately like taken aback because usually she plays really well with other dogs, but she knew it was a different dynamic. So she was like, hugging her tail, super just like anxious. She was like not happy, okay? She barely looked at Bodhi. Bodhi was trying to say hi, but Nadi was like, nope. And then we started walking toward my parents' house and there was one moment where Nadi was in front of Bodhi and she kind of like snapped at Bodhi just ever so slightly. It was like, <laughs> like, why are you coming? Why are you following me? And, and then Bodhi also like kind of snapped back and I was like, oh my God, they're gonna fight. But luckily that was like the only time where they like kind of had a little you know, and then we went into my parents' yard and then we just kind of like, you know, let them be and they were both like very clingy. Nadi was very, very sad. I was so sad, you guys. I was like, oh my God, is Nadi gonna be, like, is she gonna be so sad? I was sad for Nadi because I was like, does she think that I'm replacing her? Obviously, I don't want her to think that. I feel like it's extra sad as well because it's not just like, oh, we have another dog in the household. It's like, I live with Bodhi. Nadi lives with my parents. So I think Nadi is feeling a little bit upset, but hopefully, She'll be okay. I've been asking for words of encouragement on my Instagram and a lot of you guys have been really sweet. Uh, people say that dogs will adapt and um, hopefully they'll become besties, who knows? So far they've been ignoring each other, but I think they're slowly getting to know each other. It's only been one day, they've only been met once, but even then I see a difference. Like they started to get used to each other. We took them for a really nice walk in an off-leash area and they both seem to be again doing okay they still aren't like super friendly with each other but they kind of like just tolerate you know look at her what's she doing hi <laughs> so here's some questions people have been asking we named her body actually one of my employees named her body right after we saw her pictures and we thought she looks very much like nadi so nadi and body sound similar so already like i feel like they were trying to implant it in my head, they were trying to get me to adopt Bodhi. <laughs> They're like, let's name her similar to Nadi. Nadi, by the way, means lily in Korean, and Bodhi means barley. So we got a barley and a lily. <laughs> Bodhi, they say she's around four to five years old, so she's had a little bit of a rough life, but now she's in good hands. Why does Nadi live with your parents and why is Bodhi living here? Like, what is this situation? I know, it's a bit confusing. <laughs> Basically what happened was a few years ago when I decided to adopt Nadi, I wasn't planning or looking to get a dog at that moment. I mean, that's basically my situation with every single dog I've had. At this point, Bodhi is my third dog. And every time it was just like kind of on accident that it happened, but obviously I had to be mentally prepared as well. So with Nadi, what had happened with her is that she was an accidental litter. Essentially, one of my friend's friends adopted a dog who turned out to be pregnant. And this dog had seven puppies just a few days into being adopted. Oh my God, why are you so cute? Nadi was one of those puppies and my friend was posting about these puppies and I was like, oh my god, I need to go see these puppies. So I went to go see Nadi and her siblings and of course I fell in love, of course. But at this time, I wasn't living in a condo that allowed pets. My condo did not allow dogs, but I really was like, I wanted to get Nadi. So I talked to my parents who live in a house with a beautiful yard. So I told my parents, I was like, do you want a dog? <laughs> and you know, of course, as parents do, they reluctantly agreed. And initially, I think the plan was to try to get Nadi to live with me afterwards, because I was gonna move out and move into a pet-friendly condo. So the plan was 
you know, Natty lives with my parents at least for a little bit and then I find a pet friendly condo. And I did end up moving to a pet friendly condo, but at this point it had been a few months. Natty was already adjusted to my parents' house and even though my parents don't admit it, they wanted her to stay, let's be honest. And also because Natty is such an active dog, she is so energetic, she loves being outside and she loves running around the yard. So I felt like it was just not fair for me to take her away from, you know, the big yard and, you know, being able to run around like that. And just a condo is just not ideal, especially for Natty. That's why she lives with my parents, but I do watch her often and I visit my parents often. So I still see her frequently and I try to see her very frequently because obviously I'm obsessed. And that's why Natty lives with my parents. But I feel like we're gonna be spending like a lot of time, you know, in both places. I'll be going to my parents often with Bodhi and Natty can spend time here. I'm hoping they become besties. Pray for me guys. Pray for me. Another question I have been getting is, are you gonna feed your dog vegan? Natty is not vegan, but Natty eats a huge variety of different foods and she is not a picky eater at all. She loves food in general and she eats like lots of different things. Like she eats a mixture of things. And I was planning on trying to feed Bodhi a plant-based diet or predominantly a plant-based diet, but then I found out that she is a very picky eater. She doesn't have much of an appetite, which is not something I'm used to, okay? All my dogs have had such strong appetites. I think they take after me, okay? So the first full day she was not eating at all and I heard that she only basically likes to eat meat and eggs, but obviously I needed her to eat. I was concerned because she wasn't eating so much and maybe I was over concerned because Apparently it's normal for dogs to take some time to start eating, but I was concerned So I took her for a long walk and I bought her some canned like meat like dog food Just to get her to eat because she wouldn't eat the dry kibble She wouldn't eat anything I was giving her but she did eat the canned food So I figured maybe she likes wet food. So I actually did make her a plant-based food vegan dog food. We'll link the recipe down below. I made that and what I did was I would add in a few little bits of like egg or something, things that I know she likes and she's been eating it. So I think what I wanna do is, well, I'm gonna feed her whatever makes her healthy and I'm gonna make sure that she obviously likes what she's eating, but I think I can feed her mostly the plant-based dog food and then on top I'll add in a little bit of animal product just so that she is getting in the food. I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, you can't feed a dog a vegan diet. Guys, there's literally like research, so I'll link some research down below. You know, dogs can follow a well-planned plant-based diet. Obviously, you have to plan it well and make sure that they are healthy and eating and all that stuff, but it is very much possible. But yeah, I'm gonna try to feed her predominantly plant-based, but there is gonna probably be some animal products. Just because you can't feed a dog like fully plant-based doesn't mean that you can't feed them like a lot of plant-based things with some animal products. So that's kind of like what I'm planning on doing, especially in the beginning when she's getting used to a new diet and stuff. But she seems to like the plant-based meal that I made her. So I'm so happy that she ate it. I was like, oh my God. Of course I gave some to Natty too, okay. Oh yeah, and she is older than Natty because um, they say she's around four to five years old. Natty is just a little over three years old. Size-wise, she's like a little bit smaller than Natty, but she's a little chunky, little chunky. So that's another reason why I'm like, okay, I want to make sure that I feed her really well so that she becomes healthy. And I already see improvements in just a few days in her energy level and her mood. She seems to be like really happy. And yesterday when I took her and Natty to the off-leash park, she was super happy. And she was like even running a little bit and um, her tail was wagging. She was super happy. So um, I'm gonna get her lots of exercise and lots of good food, and lots of love and um, yeah. Anyway guys, if you guys are interested in adopting a dog from Korea, there are so many dogs that need love and affection. So there is another dog that we are trying to find a home for in Canada. So I'm gonna leave some info right now. Yeah, I mean, Bodhi is actually so well behaved. She's super calm. And again, maybe she'll take a little time to show her true personality. She's still very affectionate. She loves people. She likes to be pet, as you can see. She's already potty trained as well. She only pees and poos outside, which is really good. She doesn't really choose on things i feel like because she's a bit older i feel like adopting older dogs is very much underrated okay a lot of people only want puppies and that's what i used to think as well but puppies are really hard they're actually really difficult um natty was a very difficult pup because she's so energetic and so like what i would classify as a stereotypical dog she was so so crazy and a bit hard to train but every dog is different but yeah puppies are very difficult whereas 
older dogs they're a little bit you know i feel like they're a bit easier like she's been super easy and my main concern was that she wasn't eating in the first couple of days at least not eating enough and now i feel like she's already eaten more she's been eating more her appetite's up yeah but she doesn't know any tricks i want to teach her like sit stay you know those commands so i need to know how to train her because she's not very food focused easy to train a dog that's food focused i feel like it's harder to train a dog that's not food focused so i need to figure out how to train her we're gonna go see natty again today and see how that goes because i'll be traveling soon which is not ideal like ideally i didn't want to travel as soon as i got her obviously but for work and you know, it's just kind of the timing didn't work out as as I would have necessarily wanted So yeah, I'm trying to get her acquainted and used to my parents house as much as I can before I leave so that she doesn't feel Really weird about going there. But yeah Anyway That's Bodhi. I'm sure you'll see her a lot Hello Hello. Let me know. Do you guys think they look alike, Bodhi and Nari? All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know down below if you have any questions or even tips on anything. I am a noob. This is my first dog that I'm actually fully responsible for, basically, even though, you know, obviously my parents are helping. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, but um, again, she's been an angel. She's been an angel. Oh, look at her. She's so sweet. Anyway, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Bye.